By this period, Egypt's fortunes had changed and uh, they'd lost control of their empire, so they didn't have that control over a vast range of natural resources and products that were coming from elsewhere across the empire anymore. They then subsequently lost single rule over the country so that Egypt was divided between a king in the north and a king in the south. And then eventually it's conquered as well. So Egypt's been ruled by kings from Nubia, um, an area now in modern Sudan. They still want to keep up those sort of lavish burial traditions, but they don't have access to the same sort of resources that they did in the past. So they're trying to find ways to economize. They're reusing and recycling everything from tombs to coffins and other objects as well. We think that probably additional chambers were added to some of the upper levels of the tomb. People who wished to reuse tombs didn't always want to necessarily disturb the original burial and they were happy to then just add additional rooms in which they could place their burials. Wood was scarce in Egypt, so therefore it was quite expensive. And so you have uh, the invention of a new form of mummy case that's actually made out of linen and plaster so that they could still have something that was just as intricate looking, beautifully decorated and painted, but at a fraction of the cost that it would be to produce a whole wooden coffin. You also have concern for uh, the fact that there's more looting going on in this period. So the Egyptians are worried that that might impact on their survival in the afterlife. So the previous tradition of removing internal organs and storing them separately in canopic jars ends because they want to return those internal organs to the body after they've been mummified um, to ensure that they don't get separated from the body, that they keep it intact. The Nubian kings brought with them a uh, real respect and reverence for uh, Egyptian traditions because Nubia had previously been occupied by Egypt at the height of its empire. The style of coffin that the jackal and the falcon figure would have been placed on actually evokes a very ancient form of Egyptian coffin in the shape of a shrine. So there are new traditions that look to ancient origins in this period.